go for these multi-hunter compositions, sacrificing that warrior makes it really hard to start up the fight from an even state. We get kicked oh, under no! the tower, and that's a perfect start for the Solar Scarab's jungler. Scream finds a nice Kirami slowed down, jumped on, popped right back into the midst of the winds, and another kill up. But it's going to no. be the Solar Scarabs who steal the Fury away from the Valkyries. Benny Q up in the sky, up against four. Will not find his way out. It's Baronic who picks up the kill from the CC. Cuts his path away from Scream, who had leaped in. But Benny's surrounded by four. Does not have a path out. And it's Stuart. Scary D is doing the same to Aquarius. Very low on this King Arthur. Scary D needs a couple more shots and will find it. A solo kill for the solo laner to kill revive him. himself. But Scream into the back line. Finds Wow, he does get stunned out by Tusky, but Baronic and Scary D putting out a lot of damage. That's three down instantly. A double for Baronic and Aquarius and Gamma on the run. The dual lane of the Scarabs dealing with one. The rest of the team dealing with Gamma. That's four down from the Valkyries. So is Scary D at the front line. Scream in the back line. There's a good kill. Does get picked. A good one by Wow to start this out. Just so good. Benny, you just gets a race though. Baronic level 19 on this Yuwang is a racist mid laner off the map. Inbound gets stunned out. And a lot of damage coming through. A big triple pull by Gamma from this Atlas. But it's not enough to slow them down. Wowie is gone too. Scary D. Is there going to be too late to get to this Phoenix? Potentially Gamma is already gone. Scream has found the first kill of the team fight. The Phoenix gets the kill in the back line up against Kiramine. Has that Scarab's blessing. Benny Q up in the sky. But it's just going to be to go back to his own fountain. Gamma trying to zone. But Baronic and Scary D have erased both of the carries off the map. Aquarius walks into five. Walks into death. And it'll be the same for Gamma if he tries. Freya, Ymir, duo. Ratatosko's right gotta go somewhere. He's gotta, He's go, gotta mid. go somewhere. Can the Scarabs follow up a miraculous game one with the miraculous game two? It's time to find out. Dave's over here confusing me and got me second guessing as to where some of these picks might be. Scream hit level two on that wave. Kirmi did not. Baronic finds the rune in the first blood. One shot away from going down, and it will be Scream once again for the Solar Scarabs to pick it up. I mean, clean, man. <laughs> you know, you go blink for blink. Benny Q in danger, throws out the Kraken, but only barely grazes Baronic. Scream dunks down, and it's another kill for the jungler. Benny Q falls for the first time this game up against the Scarabs. But you're going to get basic attack damage as well. So this is going to be really good for moments like this. Well, some good damage out of Scream already with Baronic crashing in. It's already a 2v1 once again. Scream will blink past and get the auto up against Benny Q. And once again, the Solar Scarabs have decided but it'll inevitably go down, Kirmi, with that last breath poison. Maybe it needs a little bit of help with that shell. Airstrike even had to be used. So a lot expended to kill inbound, but nobody's there to help out Benny Q because Scream, once again, is just diving under the diving under the tower. Finds his fourth kill. Stewart up in the sky, surrounded by two. But finds an Good excellent whoop. double whoop. Able to grab up. Gold Fury, that has to be a, on a list of things you can't let go, and you have to kill people like Scream. Good damage on to Scream and the Kraken. Will make for a perfect shutdown bounty, and Benny Q needed. Finds inbound, should be able to set up for a crack in inbound. We're gonna knock out by and be the first casualty of the team fight. But Stewart is W key gas pedaling up against Wow, he was winning that fight, does miss the whoop. Baronic finds the root up against Gamma. Can go ahead and pick this one up. He blink. has his blink, and the tower is being tanked up by Scary D. That's a kill for Scream. But maybe Aquarius and Kirmi can turn one around. Maybe find Baronic if possible. The Aegis is gone, the beads are gone. Baronic, no relics, thrown back to the Kraken, pulled back by Gamma and brought down by Kirmi. A Solar's blessing. Some time to talk about it, man. He's going uh, for another kill. Yeah, Benny Q, no relics means no life any longer. Scream should go down in this fight and will do so. Kirmi, credit to the kill. And now it's inbound. Who is low? Baronic up in the sky with Scream. They'll dunk it to the back line up against Kirmi. Will go down. Out of Stewart will separate them out, but Aquarius still finds inbound at the end. And now it's up to the team fight of the Valkyries to fight it back. Benny Q manages to grab one, but Wowie is low. One more shot will be all that it takes to grab him. No uh, mana? Yeah, that should be the easiest kill uh, that your team has scooped up. And surrounded by three, make that four of the Scarabs. A whoop from Stewart and a dive in by Scary D. There's not a chance in the world that Aquarius makes it out. We'll be the one to put him down. Kirmi has now rejoined the fight and Baronic will go down the poison. Does not spread to anybody, and inbound will be the next one down. It's Benny Q with the double. I mean, again, starts off really well for them. They can a lot of damage to these carries. Finds a triple whoop, but it's not going to be enough to save his life. Scream Man manages to grab one before Benny finds himself out of position with no Scarab's Blessing to help him out. Wowie finds the kill. Baronic right back into the fight as it's to take down the solo laner of the Scarab. Stewart pelting pulse after pulse up against them. Another double whoop. And Stewart's got them. The jungler goes down, but he'll trade his life out for an enhanced fire giant, maybe. 
that, but can they survive afterward? There's the Kraken again on the inbound and great at getting the kill. With and Baronic on the run, a Wowie. dive in by Wowie and one shot is all that's needed. Stuart, the only healthy member on the team and he's being pushed away as Aquarius finds the execute. For the Scarabs to get back in this fight, Gamma at critical health, Scary D already gone. Stuart has got to find some big damage with these pulses against these enemies, but they're not quite fighting it. Baronic and Stuart do manage to find some, but it's now a two for two trade out. Baronic down, thanks to Wowie, execute out of Aquarius, we'll find another, and it's just inbound to fend off against the Vows. Yeah, that's not going to work too well. Look, the wall can keep you alive. As of this point in phase two, Solar Scarabs still searching for their first set win. Valhalla Valkyrie still searching for their first set win. One of the two teams will notch their first win of the phase in game number three. And what a game three it will be. And once again, the Scarabs putting themselves in the inbound, gets the beads out of Wowie. Scream finds the root, the lash after, and one more basic. He blinks against Veronic. Ultimate goes over the Kraken, but a pickup on towards Kirby, the raw snipe off the mark by Penny Cube. Kirby healing up in some of the beam, but not enough health. It's Scream once again for another kill on the Scarabs. No, Gamma got picked up and will be dropped right back down. It's Stuart Oof. getting the credit for the kill on that. Great initiation by Scream. Got the ultimate out of Gamma, who was trying to steal away a single chalice. Sure, gets the trebuchet, but loses his life because of it. And again, look at where Scream's at. Up 2-0 and, oh and, and plays like this. And EQ gets hit by the Kraken, hit by the wave, and hit by Stuart, who will pick up his second kill of the fight. From further away. Scary D finds the axe toss onto Aquarius and a jump out. She got to get away from the damage of the bludgeon. Will not do so. One more auto from Aquarius will put the Valkyries on the board. Kraken will be jumped over by Eagle's Rally, but Veronic doesn't Ooh. have the movement speed. Benny finds a nice snipe onto the enemy mid laner, but Benny Q himself will go down to the jungler. Scream picks up a double kill in the fight. Gamma with no ultimate, has no escape path. A great axe toss by Scary D to put the support down, and it'll be Scream to find the triple kill for the Solar Scarabs. We'll put Gamma down at critical health to heal for Benny, keeping himself alive. And one more shot will take down Gamma. Stuart credit to that one, and one more to going on to Benny Q. That's a double kill for Stuart. A root on Akirmi should set up the triple kill for the Hunter. Stuart has now found three in this fight, but with Aquarius and Wowie nearby, Stuart and Inbound are gonna have to turn tail and run. But you're gonna have much more than that. Cracking a little bit off the mark. It'll take a third ultimate to kill the mid laner of the Valkyries, but the Solar Scarabs will get that kill. Gamma does not find the in time before something goes catastrophically wrong over for you in the duel lane. Scary Dilo goes down, and now Kiri's looking for more. Veronic rooted, no Kraken, epic uppercut. Well, send Scream to the sky, but the Scream a little bit to the far side. Gamma will get slammed by the Kraken and put down into the sleepy time passive and then put down. Bound getting chunked by the tower. Aquarius goes in, finds two with the Eagles rally, but the snipe from Benny has already been used. Kirby finds two with the dunk. An inbound will go down. The reinitiation from the Vouts have proven fruitful so far and makes it a one for one trade. With two people here, they will. Scream gets the shell on him, so he'll be able to walk out of the tower. Aquarius a little bit too late to slow down the kill on the duel lane, but that's Wowie's life for a Pyromancer. Yeah, so honestly at this point, Wowie is down as far as they are. Maybe, maybe worth. I mean, that's a lot of relics and an ult expended by Wowie, so that kind of sucks. And Wowie will go down. It's Scream who finds the kill in the backline, but Kirby trying to turn this one back around. Stewart is dove in and will find Benny Q. Unstoppable for Stewart. Gamma, critical health. Let's find another massive Mez, but Kirby cannot get out of the way of Stewart. That's a double for him and one for Scary D. I mean, it's just clean pickups, man. Good fights. From the Scarabs, game one, it was overwhelming in their favor. Game two, it's not up available for this fight. Kraken does find Gamma. Stewart picks up one. Gamma in a sleepy time passive. Stewart cannot find the autos to weave in. Yeah, a lot of things. If, if they connect, if you get a kill here, you can go to the Titan room, but you got to play it careful. Wow, he goes down. Scream finds the first kill, but that's the only kill. We get a lot of free damage. Ultimate picks up Gamma, thrown right back to the Wolves, and Scary D is the one who finds the pick. Veronic clipped by the Ultimate. Has his health bar, inbound, finds the final swing. Kirmi forces Stewart into the wall, the Lord of the Afterlife misses Stewart, needs a little bit more damage and he'll find it, but Aquarius trades out his own life. It's another kill up. This one for Scream, only Benny Q left alive to defend against four, and with no ultimate. Damon Stewart. And so the Solar Scarabs are able to make this early game kind of pressure style of play really work here against the Valkyries. Valkyries just didn't have much of an answer. 
so back to the drawing board for that squad. But I, I do think this is a good building block for the for the Scarabs moving forward, realizing that this style of gameplay is something that they can lean on. And, and speaking on the Valkyries, I was surprised they didn't even once throughout this set try and bring that early.